Hi guys. Okay, so um, wasn't planning to do a live stream, but we've come to this fairly cool place here in Chengdu, and I thought uh, I thought I'd kick off a live stream to um, show you guys around, and uh, you can have a look what's going on here, uh, where I am. Let me just uh, turn you around if I can, so you can see what's going on. Um, anybody in the stream uh, give it a thumbs up and it'll get out there let me know if the quality is okay and uh, uh, good morning um, or good afternoon good evening wherever you're from uh, let me know if you can hear me okay and that the stream's good uh, we, we yeah okay good Let's see if, uh, so yeah we're um, we're in a a place here in Chengdu. Uh, just flip you around so you can see what I'm seeing. And, uh, oh, sorry, let me just flip you around so you can see what I'm seeing. And then um, we can have a look what we, we got going on. Yeah, I'm, uh, morning, morning. Can hear you. Good, good. Um, it's kind of not, not necessary to wear a mask here. Um, some people are, some people are not. I love Chengdu, yeah, Chengdu is a great place. Um, I'm quite sure where it is we're going and we're walking to another street at the moment. Um, good afternoon, 666, hello, Hazel. So we've got over 100 people in now. So hit that thumbs up and we, we'll get out there more. Let me see if I can flip the camera around. Um, and then you'll be able to uh, see where I'm going. Oh, I don't seem to be able to do that. Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, there you go. So I flipped the camera out. Oh, good afternoon. Oh, you're in Chengdu. Okay, yeah, there are a lot of people. There's a lot of people out and about here. Um, we're with some friends. So I've got Vicky and a friend that she hasn't seen for 10 years and uh, her husband, and they're taking us to a uh, sort of... Um, traditional kind of street. Oh, where's Ollie? Uh, hello, Jason. Ollie is in uh, Qinghai with his girlfriend at the moment, or maybe in a Mongolia. Yeah, Jin Li, that's where we, we are at the minute. Uh, can I speak some Chinese? Yi Tian Dian. Only a little, only a little. Um, so it's raining a little bit. It sort of rains for a little bit and then it stops. It's not a big deal. Um, so uh, we, we, we're being taken somewhere else at the moment by our friends. You see all the rental bikes here. Um, they don't have this brand of um, sort of turquoisey green looking one in, uh, in Shenzhen. So I'm not, I'm not really sure uh, what that is. Hello, Ryan Wang. Welcome. Um, I'm going to keep this stream running for a little bit as long as the quality is good and you can hear me okay. It does rain a lot in Chengdu. Yeah, where is, uh, see, hang on. Uh, just a second. Are you a Trump supporter? Not really. Um, I'm not a Trump supporter. Um, this is China. Hello, this is China. I've got some comments in Chinese which I can't read. Hang on, let, let, me, get, uh, let me get my partner, to v Vicky, to read some of the Chinese comments. What do some of the Chinese people say, Vicky? Many places raining. Many places Hello, China Power, Timmy Huang. Uh, where are we going? Okay, so we're going into a, a Tibetan restaurant. Um, are we eating here? Vicky, what's, what's going on? Because I need to be walking around. Can you text? A little walk around. Okay. Okay. So uh, we were going into a restaurant, but now we, we're going somewhere else. Are you allowed to film in China? Of course, we're allowed to film in China. How are you allowed to film in China? I thought they would stop you. No, 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 no. You see, this is a big misconception from the West that um, that you can't film in China, but you, you can. There's no problem at all to film in China. Um, and some shops here are closed down 
Oh, okay. Yeah. There's not many tourists. Yeah, okay. Looks like they're going to have a downpour. Yeah, it is a bit grey. It has been raining a little bit, but it's not raining that much, actually. Um, but we have had a little bit of rain. Um, keep the questions coming in and I'll answer as many as I can. I'm watching from London. Is Chengdu raining? Um, a little bit, a little bit. It keeps raining on and off. It's not raining right now. Looks like a cloudy day. It's a little bit overcast, yeah. Someone from Arizona will ask the question. Okay. Uh, hello from USA. Hello, USA. I have lived in Kunming for one year and then in Nanjing for four years. Now back home makes me so miss China. Uh -huh. oh, so we can have a walk around here and see what's done here. Okay, so he's one of the uh, most famous Chinese banks, ICBC. No mask. Well, yeah, it's kind of um, coronavirus is pretty much done here in China. You don't necessarily need to wear a mask. Not all the population. Some are, some are not. Hello from Taiwan. Uh, glad to see some foreigners. Whoops. Okay, from Hunan. Hello, Hunan. Actually, in Chengdu, there are many Tibetans. Yes, there are. Apparently so. Trump and Biden. I think many Chinese people think mm, not too highly of Trump. I'm not kind of sure what they think about Biden, um, but they're not that keen on Trump at all. It's 3 p.m. here in Barnsley. Uh, 3 p.m. It's 3 p.m. there, right? Yeah, it's about 3 p.m. Is it? Is it about 3 p.m.? Oh, we could be going back where we were. Yeah, it's, it's 10 to 3. Hello from Mars. Okay, Chinese love Trump. Mm, not sure about that. Have you tried rabbit's head there? No, I haven't. Hi from Malaysia. Hello from Seattle. Hello, Seattle. I really hope to go to China for sightseeing. Yeah, China has some great places for sightseeing. Um, hot pot. Yeah, I went to, I had hot pot last night. Um, I don't want any of them to win. Huh? Okay, so yeah, this is um, this is an area of, of Chengdu where it's very Tibetan. You can see some Tibetan characters here, and they have a large community. I'm very surprised by what you're saying about being allowed to film in China. Why? Because of what I've seen and read, I thought you would have been stopped by the police or some sort of official. Not at all. I mean, there are restrictions in some places, like if you go into some stores, they don't like you filming. And if you go, um, you know, into some shopping centers, they don't like you filming. But I think that's more to do with about um, copying um, than uh, this is tea, right? Ah, oh, so this is, uh, this is a store that sells Tibetan tea. And you can sort of see here. Yeah. But yeah, just, just to go back to that, there's, there's go on for another 500 meters, just arrived at my house. Uh, somebody lives quite close to here by the sounds of it. So we've got almost 300 people in the stream. So let me just ask you guys, can you just hit that thumbs up and it will get us spread around there. Okay, there's comments coming in really fast. Can't keep up with them. Next city, mm, not sure. I might be off to uh, Hunan um, to do a film at, uh, at the sea factory, maybe two-way camera I don't have my two-way camera I can't live stream my two camera let's have a look at your house now I don't I don't have my house here um, I, I don't live in Chengdu I'm only visiting here okay we're gonna we're gonna go back to a place called Jin Li um, it's a really really interesting place and I'm gonna show you around there I think I think I think there's some really interesting stuff around uh, Jin Li so Hello from Melbourne. How could so many people still believe uh, the corona is CCP virus? Seems most local businesses looked all right. Yeah, pretty much everything's back open here. And in the next sort of five or ten minutes, we, we'll take you to an area and you'll see that, that it's absolutely thriving here. Jing Li in Chengdu is a, a tourist place. And you'll see that there is absolute loads of people. Are you streaming? Are you streaming from StreamYard, mate? No. Um, today I'm streaming direct on YouTube. Um, 
I did some streaming a, a day or two, oh, yesterday actually, through StreamYard, and that caused a problem. Um, it seems StreamYard was, was sort of compressing the video, and uh, the video quality was really not good, so I'm direct on YouTube uh, at the moment. Sorry if I'm missing some of your comments because there's so many coming in. I'll, I'll find as many as I can. Looks much better. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, Jerry's in the stream. Hi, hi, buddy. I appreciate you in the stream there moderating for me. Um, I didn't let you know about this stream because it was just a spur of the moment. We're heading to a place called Jing Li, which I think might be really, really interesting for the viewers. Um, it's, it's pretty impressive. And we'll just across the road, uh, we'll be there in the next sort of five minutes or so but but great yeah but yeah jerry I'm, I'm streaming directly directly from youtube um on my xiaomi phone today um so just give me a thumbs up if, if you can hear me and everything looks good my school friend asked me is there any dogs served in mcdonald's in china yeah yeah of course everybody in china eats dogs of course they do don't be silly very few people now eat dogs in china it's still available in some places, but certainly with the young, most young people don't eat dogs. Um, there are many frogs here. Hello from India. Hello, America living in Germany. Love your channel. Can you ask the local people what their feelings are now about Americans and Australians? I think generally Chinese are pretty still okay with uh, Americans and Australians. Do you reckon Chinese people are okay with Americans and Australians? Yeah, yeah, they, they don't have they don't have any anything to harbour with the people of those countries. Jin Lee is for tourists, no locals would go there. Yeah, it is a very touristy area, but I think it will be very interesting for the uh, the foreign viewers on the channel. The street is very clean and very comfortable to look at. Yeah, it is. I mean, as you can see here, it's pretty much back to normal. You've probably got about 50% of the people still wearing a mask and 50% I guess I better put mine on because going into um, going into Jingli uh, I guess I'll need to put it on so I'll, I'll pop my mask on um, watch this in Chengdu by VPN welcome Chengdu okay so we've got we've got 439 people in the stream now welcome everybody I'll put my mask on and my glasses start to stream up have we been to Sang's, is that the one we went to this morning museum? No, it's a different one. Yeah, no, we haven't been to that museum, but we were at a museum oh, this morning. We went to Jingsha Museum. Hello from India. Let's hit them likes, people. Yeah, go for it, Jerry. So we got some Chinese comments coming in, which I'm unable to read, I'm afraid. Oh, it's not very clear. Oh, it's not very clear. It should be pretty clear. Uh, maybe it's it's the, the sort of stream. Okay, let's scroll. There's, there's loads of comments coming. I just really can't keep up with them all. Um, let's just send to the camera again. Let's see what's going on. Good morning from Italy. Hello, Italy. I'm I'm trying to go to Yulin and cut, cut some dog. Yeah, yeah, of course you are. Because not, not many Chinese eat dog now, actually. San Xingju is in Ganghan, another city. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I think we need to get this uh, simple fin out of the stream, Jerry. He's a, he's a bit of a weasel, mate. Hi, handsome. Hi. Okay, so we're uh, we're going to have a walk around, Jinli. Hi. 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 Um, she just wanted to say hello to you all on the stream. No video, okay? No video? Why? Oh, why can't we video? Just go there. Can you see the camera? I think it's no problem to take video on the phone. Okay, so... Oh, I think uh, the, the police didn't want me videoing him um, on the phone. Thank you. Hello from Australia. Hello, Australia. Have you tried ear picking there? No, I haven't, but I do see that there's ear cleaning happening. Um, okay. Lots, many types of people. Yeah, so this is, we, we're entering an area called Jing Li, 
as you can see here. And this is a, a very famous tourist area. Um, and there's loads and loads of really interesting stuff here. There's many little stores, many restaurants, places to eat. I didn't think it's common sight to see a dude holding a camera in the middle of a street, talking into nothing, lol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, here you have tea. So, uh, have some different teas here. Hi. Hey. Different teas. And uh, as you can see, it's really, really busy here. You have a lot going on. Um, whoa. The street is clean and beautiful. Oh, yeah. So, uh, here's a traditional Chinese um, handcart that if you pay this guy here some money, he will take you around in this this car and it's 30 yuan which is about four dollars um yeah there's actually many people here it's not compulsory now to wear masks because um, so just just here so finally finally it seems we got reconnected i have no idea what that problem was but it looks like we are back on line now so we're back online now. Is everybody, can people see and hear me? So let's get some comments, but we are, we are now back online. So, uh, oh yeah, welcome back. I have no idea what happened there. Um, we, we lost the connection. We got the connection back, but YouTube wouldn't let us back into the stream. So we are back now and I do apologize for that. We're gonna go into Jingli now and Jinli. Here, look, Jin Lee. And we will show you around um, this area, which is really pretty cool. So we got, uh, we've obviously lost a lot of people from the stream. Started streaming 30 minutes ago, yeah. Loud and clear, great, thank you very much. Um, no, it wasn't. Um, it's just one of those things, sometimes when you're out on location streaming, it's kind of difficult to, to keep the connection. So what I was showing you before we went down is this traditional building here is a very Chinese traditional building, but it's actually a Starbucks coffee look. So how cool is that? Yeah, I mean, that is a really, really cool Starbucks place. Um, it's great to see people coming back in the stream. As I say, I do apologize for the uh, interruption earlier. Um, we're sort of walking around. This is a really, really interesting area. Yeah, thanks very much. Um, bear, let's have a look, see if I can see some of the comments. Bear in mind that Lee hasn't got Ollie with him yet today. So yeah, Ollie is a bit better with the tech than me. And uh, so yeah, but um, I'm with, here with some friends. I'm here with Vicky. Okay, so this guy is, uh, I'll explain what this guy's doing here. This guy is, this, this pot will be hot. It will have some heat and he's drying the tea. Um, the green Chinese tea out. So what they do, they keep doing this till it gets drier and drier, and then and then you can uh, drink the, the tea, uh, use it to, to make tea. Okay, so let's have a look. See, I was there in Chengdu just after just had coffee in that Starbucks. Yeah, it's a pretty cool Starbucks there. I can see now. Thank you. Good. So let's uh, let's carry on having a look around here. Oh yeah, this is all. Um, this is a store that sells all things to do with Chinese calligraphy. Um, as you can see, all the sort of, they, they, they use uh, brushes to do Chinese calligraphy. So there's, um, wow, this is, a, this is a big one. Never seen one anywhere near that big before. That's huge. Uh, so there's, there's, there's many, 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 many things um, going on here. So uh, as I say, I do apologize about the stream a little bit earlier. Um, keep those comments coming in and we'll see what we can answer. Um, oh, I don't know what's going on here. Should we see what this guy's doing here? Oh, this guy is... Uh, so what's going on here, Vicky? Oh, he's, he's making things from sugar, I think. Um, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's making things from sugar. Oh, he's blowing sugar. Oh. 
Uh, he's, uh, the guy's blowing air into it and they're, they're making things from from sugar. Yeah, so just uh, somebody saying, I am from Tinder. Okay, well, we'll carry on a bit. See many, many different things here. Um, it's, it's quite a touristy area, but I think it's really interesting for you guys to see. So here's a guy doing paper cutting, all sorts of different paper cutting here. And uh, it looks like this guy's hurt his hand. And uh, we'll carry on walking. As you all know, that um, pandas are very, very big part of Chengdu. There's a panda store here. And there's just such a lot going on. Let's see what this guy's doing over here. Uh, this guy's doing some sort of... Um... Oh, what's, what's going on here? Not really. Oh, look. Uh, oh, whatever that's going on, that seems to be uh, that seems to be good. Okay. Anybody watching the stream, please hit that thumbs up button, and we'll uh, we'll try to get get that. Oh, we we're, we're over 300. Or oh, astrology. No, it wasn't gambling. Yeah, she got a dragon. Um, these are all kind of traditional Chinese figures that people put in their homes. Um, and they bring sort of fortune and luck and things like that. There's a, there's a one here, as you recognize. Um, yeah, stream much clearer than yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I'm streaming directly from YouTube this time without the StreamYard software. Uh, and we're walking around this area called Jing Li. So this is quite a famous sort of thing you see in front. What's this, Vicky? restaurant at daytime and it's a bar at night Ah, okay, so this is a, a restaurant and bar here. So there's, a, there's pretty lot going on here. Um, let's have a look at some more comments. Hope you enjoy it there. Yes, we are enjoying it there. Hi. Hi, Barrett. Can you film the floods? Well, actually, the, the floods are massively exaggerated in the Western news. There is some local flooding, but it's nowhere near as, as, as what you think. So this is some um, sort of Chinese carvings here. Um, as you know, fish is something very lucky in, uh, in Chinese. Um, so a lot of, there'll be a lot of carvings and pictures of fish. And uh, there's some uh, jade bracelets here, many kind of little carvings and little trinkets you can, you can buy here, look, so all, all here. Um, uh, a foot here. We'll carry on, we'll carry on walking. Let's have a look at some more comments. There's quite a lot of comments coming in. Um, each city has a hot pot in China. Yeah, so Chengdu is famous for spicy hot pot. There's two young ladies here serving tea. Would you like to say hello to our audience? Say hi. <laughs> you, you, people from all over. The, oh, these two seem quite shy. But they're, they're quite pretty girls, I think. I think you would all agree with that. And, uh, we'll, we'll continue walking around here. Do the people wear masks? Probably about 50% of people here in China are now wearing masks. Um, there's no, not so much pandas here, there's some panda stores. So this is kind of a photo spot here. Um, obviously it's very busy, uh, but, but girls like to take pictures of themselves like you can see here. She's taking a, a selfie of herself just standing by the water there. And there's a lot of people taking uh, pictures, some security guys just here, look, just checking everything's okay. No, oh, there's, a, there's a woman here wanting to get a wanting to get a really good selfie. She's climbing up among the trees to get that selfie. <laughs> Ronald Zhu, hello. Lee Hu, hello. 
Uh, MJ Wenzel, don't you agree with Chinese saying that the lazy in Chengdu generally look prettier than in other parts of China? Yeah, there is a famous saying that all the hot women come from um, Chengdu and Sichuan. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. The ladies are sweet. Um, well, there's many, many things on sale here. As you can see, some, some more things um, here. So we have 375 people in the stream. Let's hit that like button, see if we can get that to over 400. Sorry? Oh yeah, there's a stage up here. If you can see this up here, there's a stage area where at certain times of the day, they have performances. Oh, uh, there's a couple of guys over here, look. So they're dressed up in various uh, costumes. Not quite sure what they're doing. So, uh, hello, hello everyone. Hello, Samantha, good to see you here. Just an impromptu stream I started up. Um, wasn't planned, I just thought I'd give it a go. Wow, China is so beautiful. Yeah, there's many, many parts of China that really are beautiful. Um, I've got my friend here, he's reading some of the Chinese comments because obviously I can't read them. But we have lots and lots of comments coming in. Oh, no, no, no. I think, I think Peter Allen, you've got it all wrong, mate. A few Chinese do eat dogs, but the majority of them don't eat dog, especially the younger ones. So there's more sort of traditional Chinese merchandise here, look. All, uh, uh, so all sorts of different things on sale here. Um, some different foods here. I'm quite sure. So some, oh, these are Chinese pears here, look. So there's some drink going on here with Chinese pears. And this is uh, some lemonade, kind of lemon drink. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of things going on. We'll carry on walking around. Oh, I don't know what this is here. Maybe Chengdu people can tell me what this is. It's, I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm sure some Chengdu people will know what that is. Ah, oh wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, lots and lots of comments coming out. I can't keep up with them all, but I'll do my best. Um, Alan Walker. There's a lot of... Ch Where's Oli? Isn't he coming to Chengdu? No, Oli's... Oli, uh, actually, Oli is coming to Chengdu, but it's in another three or four weeks' time. He's going to Chengdu with his mates. I'm here with my, my partner, Vicky, and her two friends. These two friends Vicky hasn't seen for, for more than 10 years. So this is Vicky's friend here. This is her husband, and they're, they're bringing us to some parts around Chengdu. But I'm here with Vicky. Um, Oliver at the moment, I believe, is, is either in Qinghai or is in Inner Mongolia. And then he's coming back to Shenzhen. We've got about three weeks in Shenzhen. And then we are going to... Um, he's coming to Chengdu. Uh, I've got a few days in Hunan to do some filming at a factory. Why well, there are not so many but butterflies? Okay, a lot, a lot of... Yeah, actually, I, I do agree, uh, Wang Wei. I do think the government has done a very, very good job. A couple of beautiful girls standing here trying to sell their, their tea or something like that. Hi! Uh, they don't want to wave at us. Oh, they're a bit shy. So more, more foods and, and, and things along here. Ah, oh, so this guy's a bit cool. He'll do a little dance for you, look. Yeah, see? This guy's, I've seen this guy before. Yeah, get down, man. <laughs> oh, a bit missing there. Yeah, Ollie is up north with his girlfriend. You're absolutely right, yeah. So don't be shy. China isn't communist, not really. It's more of a, a kind of capitalist, socialist mix. Thank you very much. I think the guy likes the camera. <laughs> Um, okay, so one thing Chengdu is famous for is spicy food. And this is, um, you can see this is chili. And this is all, 
all dry chili here. And Chengdu is really, really famous for all its spicy food. They have all the uh, chili, chili everywhere, look. A lot, a lot of chilies here in, in Chengdu. Ah, so, uh, and um, hi. <laughs> And uh, it seems a lot of the shops are so, again, more chilies and there's many different uh, products and sauces here all made from chili. So I guess for a lot of um, people in the West watching this stream, China is probably, oh, thank you very much, Darlun. Very appreciate that super chat. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, so this is uh, the guys actually grinding the chili look into chili powder here. So you feed the chilies down this hole in the middle through the stones and you get the chili powder out here. And, and I can absolutely tell you, chilies in Sichuan and Sichuan pepper it is absolutely super spicy. Okay, guys, we're, we're almost at 500. 500 views in the stream. Hit that like button. Let's see if we can get even more in. There's some uh, some performers here. So as I was saying, I guess for a lot of you um, Western viewers, I guess you don't realise that China is actually like this. It seems a lot of Western people think that China is oppressive and that they don't enjoy themselves. Well, this is a typical typical Saturday here in Chengdu. You know, people out enjoying themselves, shopping, eating, and this is just absolutely typical. You know, it's that's how it is here in in. Uh, that's exactly how it is here in um, Chengdu. Okay, what's Vicky's age, Barris? Oh, I don't think she'd be impressed if I tell if I tell you what her. Uh, women in China don't like to reveal their age at all. There's some more, um, I think this might be tea. Oh yeah, I think this is different teas right here. Okay, so all different spices and teas and things. Some, I'm not, not quite sure what this is. Okay, you can all see that, that nice young lady there. And uh, really not sure what some of these things are here. We continue walking. Are we okay to walk around there a little bit more, yeah? We've got, we got more shops around here. There's just so much going on here. It's, uh, yeah, there's just full of stores. So we've got some panda things here. As you probably know, Chengdu is very, very famous for pandas. And uh, so yeah, there's a shop selling all pandas here. Thank you very much for that super chat, Mika Loke. Appreciate that. Really appreciate super chats and super stickers. We can keep bringing you all this super content if you support our channel. There's some drinks going on here. Um, so US supports Confederate flag and slavery. Oh, I'm not going to go with that one. Hi, Lee. Hello, Donna Donna. Beautiful country until you speak against them. Well, actually, I, I don't agree with that. Um, you know, if, if you speak to normal Chinese, they know that things are not perfect, um, but it's not anything like the Western media portrays, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's way different to what you, you think. Um, if you haven't been here, I suggest you get yourself over here and come and see for yourself. Uh, some Chinese ladies here in some kind of traditional dress selling silver. And uh, oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, what, what's that called? What's this food called? It's 15 yuan. Yes, you always feel safe. You do always feel safe in China. It is absolutely a fantastically safe country. Not so in the USA. I've been there. So, US daily 60k new infections. Yeah, well. Let me just get down these comments because there's loads coming in. Thank you to Eric NG for that super chat, super sticker. Eric, thank you very much. It's good to see you back in the stream. As I say, this wasn't a planned. I had three gorgeous dummies about to collapse. What do you think about it? 
I think that's just another rumour. They've been saying three gorges down. Hi. 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 Say hello to all my viewers. So where are you from? Uh, Chengdu Run? Yeah. Ah, so some locals from Chengdu here. Yeah, so they, they, they've been saying the Three Gorges Dam is going to collapse for many, many years, but I think, you know, I'm sure China have some great engineers uh, who are looking at it if there is a problem. They have had excessive rain here in Sichuan province in the last month. Um, absolutely unprecedented. Uh, Right, I watch a lot of them too. Okay, so we still got lots and lots of comments coming in. Uh, we continue to walk around. Um, I'm not sure how long this stream's been going for, but we'll keep it going for maybe an hour. Taiwan's experts are saying three gorges dam is 16.2 centimeters thick. Go figure, yeah, yeah, right. I think. I think it's pretty stable and I think if there was an issue there, engineers would be absolutely on the case. They're not daft here in China. The US government is relentless with their attacks. It's getting more aggressive now that China has surpassed the US. Yeah, this is, a, this is obviously an issue um, as China are getting technologically, technologically stronger and stronger. America uh, pump up the attack. So here's some kind of spicy kind of barbecue food here. So it's on these skewers and this gentleman's just going to enjoy his food by the looks of it. So this is all uh, different kinds of uh, food that you can get barbecued on this griddle behind me. Sadly, I'm British, but I live in China. Why? Oh, I am British, but I live in China. Welcome aboard to China. Yes, yeah, squid. It is squid. Um, they, they like squid in China. I, I'm not a big eater of squid. I will eat some. So again, you've got lots and lots of different foods going on here. And uh, as I said before, this is a very, very touristy area. There. And so while I'm trying to get you into her restaurant, this is a store that sells all kinds of teas, different teas. Hi. <laughs> no, thank you. For young sister. Yeah. Tea for free. Yeah. Um, it's generally around here that a lot of people will offer you samples of their food. And earlier on, I bought some kind of peanut brittle. Um, I was offered a sample and it was really, really good. Um, so I'm going to continue the stream going for about another 15 minutes or so. And after that, I'm going to close the stream down. But if you have any questions, get them in there and I'll do my best to answer them. Yeah, I am at a tourist spot. But it is a nice area. There's a nice sort of uh, piece of water here. And uh, a lake. More water coming here. It is a tourist spot, but it is a very, very nice area. Here's a bar here. Oh, so much food, so much stores here. There's a lot going on. You know, to to to. Take a phrase out of Jerry's Made in China book. You don't need a passport, you don't need a visa, you just need to come to our channel and we will show you around. Yeah? Uh -huh. so you can see many, many kinds of foods, kind of barbecue food here, and uh, all different, many, many, many different kinds of food here. So this is called. Uh, Cho tofu and it's very very smelly. I don't like it, but but Vicky Vicky quite likes this. It looks like coal, right? But it is actually called cho tofu. Wow, I miss China so much. Please give me a ticket. Have you been to any museums in China? Yes, I went to a museum this morning. Um, again, more food here. So. Zad, but tastes good. Oh, I don't like chow tofu, but a lot of people really do like chow tofu. Oh, what's over here? 
Let's have a look over here. There's other things going on here. Hey, these look pretty cool. I'm quite sure what this is. Wow. Whoa. It's kind of like a robotic wooden pig or dog or something. Ah, that's pretty cool, huh? I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's good. Ah, there's a, there's a guy who looks like he makes them here. Guys selling various things here. There's just so much going on here. Oh, some, some women getting some photos taken here. <laughs> Okay, let's take some more comments. A wood machine invented 2,000 years ago, yeah. Still watching from San Francisco, making me so hungry right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the smells around here. Let's go and have a look at some more food down here. There's so much food going on here. You can literally eat food from anywhere in, in the world. But yeah, there's, there's absolutely loads going on. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button to get that stream out there. Please adjust the stream quality. I can't do anything. Um, some, I, I am streaming through a VPN. Uh, maybe you need to make sure. Uh, yeah, we are actually streaming on 5G, but a VPN slows it down. Um, obviously, I have to stream through a VPN. JCX, thank you very much. Try Rabbit Head. Uh, I've not tried rabbit head. Oh, what are these here? There's some kind of pearl or something here. I don't know what these are. I'm not really sure what this is. They're kind of some like... Oh, you can get all the characters for your name on these. To make bracelets. Ah, to make bracelets. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's some... Um, this looks like, is it duck or goose? Yeah. Oh, okay, so when we were in Chongqing before, we made a video about this. This is a special kind of way they cook chicken. So what they do, they wrap it in a leaf, then they wrap it in a paper, and then after that, they, they put this, this clay around it, and they cook it in these, these here. And then when you buy one, you open it all up and unwrap it, and it's really, really good. It's so juicy and succulent. That's really, really nice, that chicken is. Really, really good. Ah, hello, Quantum Alchemist. I'm good, how are you? You're tuning in from Germany? Special beats have your name on it. Yeah, thank you. So are we gonna continue? Which way are we going, Vicky? We're gonna go this way, yeah? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna run the stream for about another ten minutes before we wrap it up. So any questions you have, get them down there in the super chat. I didn't plan this stream; it was an impromptu stream. Thank you very very much, um, Wang Wei, for that super chat. Thank you for bringing me back to Chengdu. Greetings, Singapore. Greetings, Wang Wei in Singapore. Yeah, I know this is quite a touristy area of Chengdu, but I thought it might be interesting to many Western viewers who've never seen this before. Um, it's a great area, there's lots going on here. Um, so again, even more food here. Food, food everywhere, you know. Mud chicken, I think, yeah, though, nowadays there are a lot of ways to cook it from Germany, as always, though, yeah. You must never sleep, quantum alchemist. You seem to get every chip. Okay, so here, these are really nice. These are these are oysters. And they grill them on here and they put lots of garlic in. Oh, these smell absolutely delicious. Unfortunately, I've just eaten lunch, so I won't be eating any, but they are really nice, those oysters are. And we've got um, drinks and ice cream over here. Uh, let's have a look at some more comments. Did you see any other foreigners? Looks like you are the only one for today in that street. Maybe, yeah. Sadly, I don't get out much traveling. It's costly. It is. Um, actually, traveling around China 
internally in China is not that that expensive actually. Um, but getting here in the first place is right now. Okay, so the tea, yeah? Okay, so this is um, a big thing in Chengdu is tea. And these are all people here. They will sit and relax and, and drink and drink tea and just sit and relax. You can see a family here are just drinking their tea, enjoying a Saturday afternoon with their wives and partners and that. And this is this is this is Chengdu life. People relaxing. Which part of Chengdu is this? Which part of Chengdu? Wuhao Chi. Yeah, greetings from Malaysia. Hello, Malaysia. So yeah, there's 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 many many things. Oh, Tang Yuan. Oh, it's one of my uh, one of my favourite foods. Tang Yuan. It's like Tang Yuan is kind of like little balls of um, they made from rice, and they have like um, it's quite common. They have peanuts or sesame in the middle, and they're really really nice. They're kind of a a snack food for me. Again, more pandas. Ah, uh, this is. Uh, ear cleaning so they, they they do ear cleaning here which is um also kind of popular so she's cleaning out the guy's ears he looks as if he's kind of relaxed but, uh, that's uh, all pretty cool oh there's a guy here doing uh, sugar craft so this is something again that's pretty popular not just in uh, Chengdu, but in China in general. He makes, he makes things from um, sugar. I'll just to show you now that what, what he makes. So he's mixing the sugar here, and he will make an animal generally. So you can watch him do this. So this is something I don't often see in the West, but I see it quite often here in China, and a, a lot of people do it. You can see it has all different different things hanging up. And they will pretty much make anything you want. Just making another butterfly here, you see. So with the with the sugar, hot sugar. Oh, oh I'm not quite sure. Oh this is uh Ah Sissia! So she's giving me some, I'm going to try it. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm. That's pretty good. So around here, it's, it's quite common that you will get many, many samples of different foods to try, different drinks to drink. Oh, wow, well, cool, guys. We've got over 500 in the stream. Really appreciate you guys for that. Hit that thumbs up and we might, we might, we might hit that 550, maybe even 600. Also, oh, away from Trump, save lives. Yeah, where is Ollie? Ollie's in, um, he's up north in uh, Qinghai and um, in a Mongolia with his girlfriend. Um, he's, he's making videos up there. There's a store here selling a, a fruit dessert, which is really uh, popular here in, in China. And some more fruit here. Chengdu Post CV introduced street sale to boost employment successful. Now it is all, now it is all back all over China. Yeah. They've actually encouraged um, street vendors back out to help the economy, which is a great thing. Um, some clothing stores here. Um, loads of comments coming in. Let me try and address a few more. Um, to stop seeing a person's post, click there. Oh, that's not for me. Let's have a look what else we got. A lot of comments coming in Chinese. I'm not able to read, unfortunately, because I don't read Chinese. Um, Okay, so we're going to wrap the stream up in about five minutes. So any last questions you have? 
Um, drop them down in the chats and I'll try to... Uh, uh, Mongolia North one. Would you think Mongolia is cool, dude? It is altitude kind of true. Due to a lot of desert, however, Mongolia tends to be hotter days, but extra. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to Oli coming back. Apparently, he's took a load of footage while he's up there. He's had the drone up in the air. He's got all sorts going on. So there will be videos coming from uh, Inner Mongolia and Qinghai in the future. Before that, though, as you all are aware, maybe, we went to, we went to, um, where did we go? A couple of weeks ago, where were we? Were we, a couple of weeks ago, where were we? Yeah, we went to Chongqing a couple of weeks ago. So we have 15 or 20 Chongqing videos that we'll release um, before um, Ollie's videos start coming out. So let's just go through some more. I am, um, UK is slowly opening up, big mistake yet. Yeah, if it hasn't got rid of the coronavirus, it is. Cold desert climate yet, yeah, you're absolutely right. Quantum Alchemist. Hello from South Africa, hello there, how are you? Uh, where is Ollie? Ollie's up north. Um, Stephen UK is looking to become a US overseas territory. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Sour spicy rice noodles, that's good recommendation to you. The snack is made with walnuts. Yes, that snack I ate. I believe it was. I can taste them. They're very good. See more, more food here. This looks like maybe small potatoes. I don't know whether it is. Two dough? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is a small potatoes in some sort of spicy mixture by the looks of it. Uh, do I, ah, would you like to say hello? Uh, hello, hello. Hi, so hey, these some guys, where are you from? I'm from Shenzhen. Ah, Shenzhen, what, what, Shenzhen? Yeah, yeah, so some, some fellow Shenzheners here uh, visiting Chengju <laughs> as well. Nice to meet you too. We are, we are live streaming to our YouTube audience. YouTube, wow. Yeah. That's great. Nice. <laughs> Cheers, man. Yeah, I just met those couple of guys who are also from uh, Shenzhen where, where I live. So, yeah, that's cool. So, two minutes left and then we're going to wrap up the stream because I've been going for over an hour now. I do apologise in the early stage of the stream. There was a little problem, but we've got that sorted. So, this is kind of, I'll just show you this. This is where sort of um, couples kind of declare their love to each other. Um, and... Uh, I, I can show you here, you can read a little bit about it. But they, they put these padlocks together with a ribbon that they write a message on onto the uh, chains and, and they sort of declare their love for each other, which I think is kind of nice. Um, yeah, so we, we just, oh, what's this? Is this pork? Juro? Oh, so we've got, a, we've got a, a pig roast going on here. That looks really nice, that does. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Pork crackling. Oh, that looks very nice. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice, yeah, is it good? Good. So that guy's just uh, gone off with his uh, thing. And before I end the stream, I'd just like to get Vicky's two friends here just to say hello to you all. So these are... Vicky's friend here is a Chengdu native. So just say hello to all the people on YouTube. Just say hi. <laughs> I think I put them on the spot there. They're a little bit shy. Oh, there's a girl here eating her sugar, sugar creation that, that was made down here. Is it nice? It's good. How ban? <laughs> okay, so thank you all very, very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. I might be back tomorrow morning with another impromptu stream. It's a bit of a secret, the location, but it's going to be an impressive one. So around about maybe 9.30, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I will be back with a stream. Um, but for now, I appreciate you all for joining. And uh, as always, take care. Oh, yeah, I need to know how to end it though now.